Hi guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a line pattern for your roof. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open my 3D view. So there's my 3D view. So what I want to do is I'm going to change here the visual style to hidden line. So I want to show the edge of my roof here with a different uh, pattern. Okay, so for you to be able to do that, you need to create a line pattern. Okay, so you need to apply a line pattern. And if the line pattern that you want is not uh, created, of course, you need to create it. And for you to be able to do that, so you need to go to the Manage tab. And then on the Settings panel, you look for additional settings and then here you can look for line patterns so that is what we are going to select okay so as you can see these are the available line patterns in your project now if the line pattern that uh, you like to use is not here or is not yet created so you need to create a new one so I'm going to select new and then I'm going to select here the name or you can put the name here so let's say I'm gonna call this roof line okay and then after that so I just need to specify here the types and then the value of my line pattern so for the first one so I want a dash line here and then I want to put a value of 1 8 of an inch so I want a dash and I also want to put a space and the space is uh, like one fourth inch. And then I want to put a dot. Okay. And then I want to put another uh, space here. Again, one fourth of an inch. And then dash again. One fourth. And then a space. Okay one for it as well there you go then after that you just need to select okay so once you select okay it's now here created on your line patterns list so there's my roof line so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to select here okay so i want to apply now that particular line pattern to my roof here okay so what i'm going to do is from the manage tab you look for the object styles or object styles can also access using your visibility graphic overrides you can go to the visibility graphic overrides you can type vv and then after that you go to object styles you click that one and then there's your object styles and then you look for the roof and then you look for the roof stair. So I'm going to change the color of my roof line. So let's say I want to make that red. Select here OK. And then let's change now here the line pattern. So instead of solid line, you click the drop down arrow. And then you look for the roof line. There you go. All right. OK. And then just select here OK. And then OK. And there you go. So it's now applied here. OK. So aside from visibility graphic overrides, you can also use uh, object styles here on the settings panel. So there's your object style. So it's the same. So it specifies, aside from the line pattern, you can also specify the line weights, the line colors, of course, the patterns, materials for model objects annotation objects and imported objects okay right so object style so as you can see on the definition object style is a project wide settings now if you want to just apply this line pattern to a particular view so you can use the visibility graphics tool okay just use the visibility graphics here this one just click the visibility graphics or just type uh, vv and then you just need to look for the roof and then you just need to change the pattern here 
There you go. So you can just select override and then you can select your line pattern. Okay, but we use here object styles for us to be able to apply the line pattern to the uh, project-wide settings. Okay, so if I go to the roof, let's check this one, the roof. So as you can see, it's there, it's applied because object style, like what I've said, it's a project-wide settings. If you just want to edit one particular view, let's say, for example, only in this view, you want to change that line pattern. So instead of using object styles, so like what you can see or what you can read on the definition, to override this project-wide settings for a particular view, so you, we can use the visibility graphic overrides. So let's use the visibility graphic override. So it's BV, and then let's look for the roof. And then I can change here the line here. So let's override that. Let's override the pattern. So let's say instead of the roof line that I have created, so I just want a, let's say, hidden line. So I can select that one. I want to change the color, let's say, to blue. I want to change the line weight. So let's say 7. So I just select your OK and then OK. And there you go. You see, it's now overridden this portion here. But if I go to the other view, so as you can see, it's the same view or it's the same uh, pattern there, right? So basically, that's how you create a line pattern for your roof, okay? So we created a roof line. Again, where, where is that? So you go to the manage, you look for the additional settings, and then there's your line patterns. And then from here, you can create a new one. You can edit a line pattern. You can delete or you can rename. Alright, so hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.